try this again. Good to know that that package won't fit in the letterbox, I guess. So I have to hit the post office when it's open. I do want to say thank you for everybody that's been watching and liking the videos and if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe I would appreciate it yeah it's funny that accident the other day that's I didn't realize I had enough speed to cause that kind of damage, but... I guess you do anything hard enough, or slightly too fast. And maybe we'll just go south. I'm not sure I want to go through all that business stuff. There's not a whole lot of paths and things to go too far north besides the Monon. So. We'll see what we got here. Just wander around a bit. Started to turn green, the grass is definitely green, and then the trees are starting to put on their buds. That's nice to see. You can hear the birds being out. So. sure if you can hear that clunking every rotation but that's that bent crank and right back in the wind great goodness this is. We're north of the uh, one the other day. Uh, it's been a month or two ago. 
Countryside was the name of the other one. have to get that wrist looked at. This is the one when I wrecked, I put it down hard. So probably should have got it x-rayed back that day, but oh well. I know if it's a hairline fracture, they typically can't do anything about it, but but maybe they can depending on the kind. I've got an old <laughs> roller blade wrist guard on as a splint of a sort, so seems to be working some. So just I have to be careful when I go like left or right motions. So Sorry. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to honk. <laughs> Hi, Bob. I really need to disable that button. Am I going in a circle? I didn't remember that road there. Back side of the mire. I'm gonna go on the Midland for a second. So, thinking about that accident the other day, going around that curve. I, I'm not sure if I lost traction in the little section that it was slightly wet or if the uh, pedal had hit. I'm thinking the pedal had hit first because I didn't have it up. It's so like when you're taking a left hand turn, you want your right pedal to be down and then vice versa, right hand turn, left pedal down. But I think it's more important on these 20 inch wheels because you've got a, a lot less room to the ground versus a 26 inch rim. So that's something I gotta get used to. On a motorcycle, you don't have to put your pegs down, or I mean, your pedals down, obviously, so. Hello, thank you. Hi, pup. <laughs> so, but I've listened to that video over and over and over trying to hear if the pedal was the first thing that struck or what. On the motorcycle, when I'm going around a curve and I can feel it loosen up, I can react, but I didn't have enough reaction time from the, from the uh, pedal hitting the ground, so. neighborhood of duplexes it looks like. But it's funny as we get older it's taken a lot longer for me to heal. <laughs> Throttle responding. There we go. 
may have uh, mixed up the brake switch. I'll have to check that out when I get home. And all kinds of things that I messed up. It happens though. It is interesting to see on the there's a Facebook group for the Eohora community there's a lot of people that are modifying their box bikes and adding a lot of thing, things goodness can't talk but they're adding a lot of things to them so it's kind of similar to Harley-Davidson motorcycles and all other kinds of motorcycles where you can add different parts to them and make the bike your own I guess probably the whole e-bike thing isn't necessarily proprietary on a lot of this stuff. I want to go into this farmer's bank parking lot. The other day I pointed out there was a solar panel that looked like a uh, flower. And it's right here. got an electric car charging station. Siemens, but kind of a neat smart flower is what it's called, I guess. So, I guess I'm going the wrong way. neat that it can follow the sun. I wonder how much energy it uses to rotate those motors. It looks like it. Riding directly in the wind again, sorry. So, uh, looked like it had three way or three motors, so it must operate that way up and down side to side. Maybe it was just two motors. I don't think there would be a need for in and out, but no, oh, it might be to retract those pedals or whatever. Never been in this neighborhood. Again, I choose to ride directly into the wind. about when I was a kid the mailboxes they of course had your number on them but they also had your name typically or your family name I guess it's kind of I mean I understand why it's gone away because of privacy and such but just interesting changing culture had an effect on a little thing like mailboxes
getting another crank set it'll give me the opportunity to get a lighter one or something new pedals so I'm not a huge fan of the these I've talked about that before where I felt they were very grippy isn't enjoying having weight on it so I guess I just need to back off and use the throttle goes to now the other side of the Midland Trace where we uh, started from the beginning the other day yeah. or I assume that's what it is it's got to be That's what it is. go ahead and head home because my wrist is feeling it so we'll go that way too sure of me.
the other day I figured out how to put this into cruise control and not to remember how I think you have to bring it up to the top speed and then let go yeah I'm not at the top speed You gotta hold it for eight seconds or thereabouts, so. And I don't have it working right. Oh, maybe it does, 12 and a half. Thank you. <laughs> I guess I'll do a brief cutout for to show people how to put it in cruise control. So let's shut that off. So let's see. Well, we'll wait a minute. I'll do part of it on my phone. But Cut out, I guess. 